In this video, I will show you how to select a site near you to survey for the field survey or waterway survey as part of the National BAT Monitoring Programme. You can find direct links to these surveys below this video. Take a look at these pages to read more about each survey and how to take part. For this video, we will go straight to the View and Select Survey Sites button, starting with the field survey. First thing to do is type your postcode into the search box. I will type the postcode of the Bat Conservation Trust office as an example. So you can see a few sites are coming up in this area. I'll zoom out a bit to see a wider range of sites. So all the sites are randomly selected one kilometer squares. This is so that we get an unbiased sample of monitoring locations that give us a good representation of habitats across the UK. Some will be good sites for bats, some not so good, but all are important for monitoring how bats are faring over time. Clicking on each square gives us a bit of information about each one. You'll see that the red squares are sites that have been surveyed before or repeat sites. The orange squares have not previously been surveyed and the grey squares are currently taken by a volunteer, so are not available to select. Some of the squares have the survey route shown. So this is where the route has been digitised online by the volunteer. This is an extra bit of helpful information as it gives you a preview of the route you will need to walk if you take on this survey site. For the repeat sites, it's particularly useful if you can take on a site that hasn't been surveyed for many years. This is because getting updated bat counts from these sites makes a really important contribution to our species population trends. If you can start by looking at the site which was last surveyed longest ago and is within reasonable travelling distance from you, this would be really helpful. So looking at the red squares which are repeat sites and clicking on them you can see the last survey year, so this one was 2016, this one was 2020, oh, this one was 2010, so that was longer ago than the last two. So you'll start by looking at this one. The first thing to do is assess how easy the site is to travel to and from, um, bearing in mind that you might be um, finishing a couple of hours or more after sunset. Um, in July for this survey. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about how you will get back home afterwards. If it seems okay from that point of view, zoom in a bit closer just to see what the accessibility is like for getting around the site. Um, and of course, in more rural and particularly upland areas, there might be very different safety and accessibility considerations. At the moment, this is very much an initial assessment. And once you've taken on this site as a potential site that you could do, you will do a daytime recce where you visit the site during the day and do a walk around to see if you can follow the route that's previously been mapped out and check that it's still a safe site to walk around at night. But if the first site you look at doesn't look suitable for you, then look at others. And although I mentioned that we are keen to get the older sites resurveyed, the most important thing is that the site is safe and accessible for you. And if none of the red squares is suitable for you, then look at the orange squares. So these are sites that haven't been surveyed before. Um, um, one or two of them do actually have a route mapped out, but for most of them, you will need to map out the route from scratch, but instructions are provided to help you do this. And once you've decided which site you would like to survey, simply click on it and click survey this site. And this takes you to the login screen. If you haven't yet created an NBMP account, click create an account and fill in your details. If you've already got an account, type in your login details and click here to log in. And it'll take you to your field survey sites page and you will see the site you've just selected is added to your page. You can click Field Survey Resources and this will take you to the page where you can download the field survey forms and instructions. 
you can click on the site details page and here you can download a PDF of the route map to take into the field. You can add your accounts for 2022 once you've done your survey. So you've got everything you need to, to do your survey. For the waterway survey, it's pretty simple. Look at this page to find out what the survey involves. Click here to select a site. Again, type in your postcode. And because the waterway survey, this isn't about doing surveys where you're walking around one column of squares, the sites are designated by um, red and orange dots along waterways. And the survey routes are shown as series, series of 10 stopping points along the waterways. And again, if you just click on the red dots, you will see the last time the site was surveyed. Um, if you've got different options and try and go for the site that hasn't been surveyed for the longest, if possible. But any site you can survey is really useful. So go to these pages, pick a site near you, get surveying, and you'll be making a really valuable contribution to UK bat monitoring.